All right, so recapping what we talked about, what to do here. So like the first thing demonstrated, where you actually you figured it out, we talked about it there. So yeah, you're looking at like root note to root note, um, what, what's the shortest amount of distance to travel kind of thing. So that's why, you know, looking at it, it's like there's the C note, there's the F note, there's the G note. So for the next one, I'll go ahead and walk through how I'm looking at this and see if you got the same thing. And when you get all these things filled out, before you start practicing them, send me what you got. I'll sign off on it or let you know what needs correction or offer some suggestions and we'll take it from there. All right, so chord number six. So sixth note within the key is A. We've got the lowercase Roman numeral, so we know it's A minor. Starting on the D string. So seventh fret there, that's the root note. So you get your seven, five, five, five. We'll go ahead and add that in as I go here. Seven, five, five, five. And then the two chord, which is D minor. So what I'm looking for here is like, all right, well, where is the closest D? Next one, like, so we got like two spots here we can really look at. So A note, seventh fret on the D string. So we have a D note down here, fifth fret on the A string, or we can go up, same fret, just a higher string. So I'm gonna opt for that. And then the third, chord number three, being E minor, well, we're just gonna shift it up whole step back down. So that's what we got going on there. So that's how that one should end up. So again, just when you get stuff filled out, send it over. And another thing to keep in mind is you know, you're going to have that repeat to do. So you, sometimes what happens when people fill these things out is they're doing like close root note changes. But let's say when you get over to the last arpeggio or last chord you're going to play, you got to keep in mind that you still want to have a close distance between the root note here. Wait, you can't see that. The root note here and coming back to the root note here. So you want to keep that in mind, too, because that's part of the equation. So think of it as close as you can, all the root notes, including the repeat part. So if you got any questions, let me know, and I look forward to seeing the answers you got.